My new pottery mugs are inspired by images from the Hubble telescope. And I'm calling these cosmic mugs. Today, most mugs are made in factories by machines. A factory can make 10,000 of the exact same mug and put a bird on them or whatever, and they'll be able to sell them to a lot of people for 10 bucks each. And that's just fine, but that's not pottery. Pottery should really communicate a good idea. So for my artwork, I wanted to show how images from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope inspire my work. A factory could also copy this image exactly and print it on a mug. But I'm not trying to copy, I'm trying to communicate something interesting. For example, in this image here, we're looking at two galaxies colliding. I mean, that's kind of cool. So I'll start by looking at pictures of galaxies, or a planetary nebula, or a molecular cloud cluster. And if there's a red spot like this one here in the picture, then I'll take some red glaze and brush that onto the pot. Then the pot gets fired in a kiln, melting the glaze at 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit. The melted glaze curves and drips down the pot, and the finished glaze is a sense of movement like the galaxy or nebula that inspired it. Pottery glazes come from things that we dig out of the ground, mix into a slurry with water, and that's essentially how we make glaze. You can actually see my finger marks from when I dipped this pot down into the bucket of glaze. I like to leave these marks for my fingers because then the pot really looks and feels handmade. This glaze turns black because of iron and cobalt. Well in this image, some of the colors that show up are from iron molecules. So that's kind of cool that these iron molecules out in space are the exact same elements that give me color in my pottery. Science and art have some cool similarities. Albert Einstein talked about how there's a mysterious quality to both, how they both involve discovery and a, a search for truth. But there's some scary similarities that stick out too, like when you combine the national science budget with the National Endowment for the Arts, they don't even reach 1% of the federal budget in the United States. So for every tax dollar, that's less than one penny going to art and science. For just the arts, it's less than 1% of one penny. I mean, it's almost nothing at all. A lot of people ask me why I put a high value on my pottery, why it's a lot higher than what they would expect a coffee mug to cost. And I do it because these are pieces of artwork. And I think artists everywhere deserve more value in our society. I mean, a lot more than 1% of a penny. That's kind of a bummer. So we've all heard about high schools cutting art programs across the country. And I was lucky enough to have a pottery class in my high school. That was about 10 years ago. And that class introduced me to pottery. And now I'm making a living as a professional potter. Science is definitely getting more mainstream. But I don't really see that happening with handmade artwork. I'd like to see more artists exploring how they could use science or technology to get more of their artwork out into the world. And science can be really exciting, but sometimes people think it's just too hard to understand. I think scientists and engineers need artists to help communicate why science can be kind of cool. And if we work together, maybe we'll find some ways to bring more value to both art and science in our society.